It turns out that my ex got dr at a college party and told everyone about my accident. And from then onwards, everyone at my college called me Miss P because I had a missing... Uh, you know what. Kathy, this meets war! If he doesn't go and get revenge on this heathen, destroy this woman! Destroy her. Ho ho! Hey, Goofy! It's me, Mickey Mouse! Ho ho! Wow! These animations wouldn't fly on the Disney Channel, Goofy! Ha <laughs> ha! Do you agree, Goofy? Ha <laughs> ha! Gorsh, yeah, these are uh, a little inappropriate, Mickey! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, Goofy! That's what I said! I don't think this would fly on the Disney Channel! What do you think, Donald? <laughs> Hey, I didn't understand a word you just said. What about you, Scooby-Doo? Uh-oh, these are inappropriate. These animations are inappropriate. What about you, Robert? Okay, I think this is video inappropriate. Woo! How's it going, friends? It's your boy, Robert IDK here, and we're gonna check out some animations that are uh, a little bit edgier. <laughs> Share my story. Another big animation story channel that we, we haven't checked out. So far, we've only hung out with our good friends at My Story Animated, but if you go a little bit deeper, you see some... <laughs> You see some crazy stuff. These animations are a bit shorter, so we can check out more than one in a video. These are animations that would not fly on Nickelodeon. Oh, Mickey, you're contractually obligated not to talk about Nickelodeon. Yeah, but this, yeah, but I, shut up. A snake bit off my penis. We're starting strong, you guys. Or should I say not strong? Because if he loses the penis. He probably lost the balls too, in which case his testosterone level would be lower and he wouldn't be strong. But let's get right into it. Hey, I'm Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. Even though I'm only 21 years old, I already know that I will stay a virgin for the rest of my life. <laughs> Let me explain you why. See, it didn't didn't take long. <laughs> Edgier already. Let's see what kind of hijinks Benjamin gets up to. A few years ago, I went on vacation to Thailand. My family and I had just checked into our hotel. When I decided to go to toilet... Go to toilet? Is that a verb or is that a noun? Go to toilet. When I decided to go to toilet... I know in the UK people are like, I'm gonna go toilet. Hey, hey, Rob, you wanna go gym? You wanna go toilet? This person has an American accent, so... I mean, we had just been off a 10-hour flight and I was bursting. So I sat down on the toilet with my headphones on, listening to music. Yo, he's bumping that Robert IDK! Look at how much fun he's having. He's clearly listening to Robert IDK. So I sat down on the toilet with my headphones on, listening to music. Spotify link in the description. I suddenly felt something pulling on my cucumber. My first reflex was to jump up and look down. Not you! I saw a big, long snake that had sunk its teeth into my cucumber. Why are you call well, I'm calling it a cucumber? For some reason, that is weirder than just calling it a penis. We're, uh, we're in for a long- <laughs> We're in for a bumpy ride, <laughs> you guys. Long snake that had sunk its teeth into my cucumber. Now, before I continue telling the story, please take a look at this image of a snake's mouth. Ah! It has dozens of sharp teeth that are hook-shaped so they can hold on to their prey. Do snakes have a lot of teeth? I thought they, do really? Some species can have up to 200 teeth running along their jaws. I didn't know they had that many teeth, holy cucumber. They normally only eat mice, rats, or chipmunks. Snakes, I hate you. If you go near my baby boys, Rocco and Nobu, I will cut you into a thousand pieces. But my cucumber must have looked tasty or something and once the snake- Oh, had we get it. Oh, you got a good looking cucumber. Go again. I started screaming and ran out of the toilet, <laughs> with the snake still holding on to my cucumber. When I saw my mom, I screamed. Ah, help me! But my mom just started screaming too and didn't help at all. <laughs> what did you expect? Mom, pull this snake off my willy! Pull this snake off my snake, mom! Why on earth would you go to your mom for handling this situation? Why would your first reaction to be to go to your mom for this? Is there something you're not telling us, Benjamin? This dude's- a, oh my gosh. I mean, he is in a panic mode. He reverts to natal instincts. So, in the end, I tried to pull the snake's mouth open. But this made the snake bite down even harder. And that's when it happened. My cucumber got bitten off, and the snake swallowed four fifths of it. I knew I had to go to the hospital ASAP. 
Every man's worst nightmare. The only thing worse than a snake biting off three quarters of your cucumber is a snake having the whole cucumber and a couple Swedish berries on the side. <laughs> I, why has no one stomped this thing to death, to death yet? <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, yeah, no, 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 this snake deserves death. I'm not apologizing, this snake deserves- It definitely doesn't deserve this smug look on his face. Yo, theory, I have a theory. Benjamin's dad used to bully someone at school, and then that person died and got reincarnated as a snake, and so they could come back and get their revenge on his son. Sever the family bloodline. No more bully children. In which case, you know, I support it. It's great how we can find a good side to things, you know? But first I asked my mom, to catch the snake and cut it open so that we could later sew my cucumber back together. Unfortunately, my mom was too scared and the snake escaped. Meanwhile, I found a taxi to get oh to a hospital, gosh. but the driver kept arguing how my blood was ruining his seats. Oh my gosh! I got so angry, I used my left arm to pull him out of his own taxi while holding my cucumber with my right hand. I had never driven a car before, what the but heck? it was this story is this is crazy. This story is like an action movie. This <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say this story went zero to one hundred real quick. No, 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 no. They put it on a hundred. They haven't taken their foot off the gas this whole time. This is crazy. This is overstimulating. <laughs> I had never driven a car before, but it wasn't that complicated. And after twenty minutes of driving, I had found a hospital. When I ran into the lobby, I was covered in blood and screamed, help, help. When the nurses saw me, oh they gosh. immediately brought me into the emergency room. I still hoped that they could somehow save my cucumber, but the doctors just kept on asking me whether it was a poisonous snake or not. But I mean, how was I supposed to know that? Sir, I don't care about the poison. My life has already been poisoned by my cucumber being severed. I'm already dead inside. It doesn't matter if the snake was poisonous or not, because I'm already dead on the inside. Well, it took 20 hours of operating on me until the doctors were able to fix my cucumber enough so that I could pee relatively normally into a toilet again. He's smiling again? How do you smile? How do you smile for a month after this happens? I wouldn't be smiling. I don't know what I'd do. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what I'd do in this situation. However, the doctors told me that I would never be able to make love to a woman again. Bruh. And to make things worse, there were several TV crews outside my hospital room trying to oh interview the boy gosh. that had lost his cucumber. Oh my god. I mean, gosh. seriously? Do you think I want to tell the whole world that my cucumber was bitten off by a snake while sitting on a toilet? Well, when I finally arrived back in the US, my girlfriend was waiting for me at the airport. Oh! And no! Does she know? I hope she doesn't know. That smile. Remember this smile. Remember this look of ecstasy. <laughs> we'll see how happy she is when she finds out that there is no longer a cucumber to the throne. There's no longer a throne to sit on. Oh, Scooby, how you holding up so far? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I think I'm gonna need a Scooby snack to get through this one. Oh, uh -huh. I don't have any Scooby snacks, Scooby. So you're gonna have to just shut up and listen. Okay. And, ugh, we were both raised strictly Catholic and still virgins. We had planned oh, to have our okay. first time after we got married, but now I had to tell her about my condition. We sat down at an ice cream cafe. And I'm not joking, but she ordered herself a banana split. Nice one. I waited until she was finished eating, and then I told her the news. My banana split too. Honey, that's not the only banana that split. I told her how I had lost my cucumber on my trip to Thailand. I expected her to feel sorry for me or something, but she just said she wanted to take a look at it in the bathroom. And well, when I showed it to her, she started laughing so hard that tears were running down oh her face. Oh my gosh! What a horrible person! I have to admit that her reaction completely destroyed the little confidence that I had left. After she had calmed down, I asked her if she was okay with the fact that I would never be able to make love with her. At least, not in the conventional way. Luckily, she said she didn't mind. The day is saved. I thought... We were dealing with a betrayer. I thought we were dealing 
with a horrible person. You know, I wouldn't blame her, honestly. Unless she like really loved this person. That laughing was not necessary though. That was kind of mean, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? I'd say that was a little bit, little unnecessary, Kathy. But the next day, when I asked her to go out, she said she was busy. And afterwards, she completely stopped responding to my messages. Never mind. Never mind that last bit. She sucks. Never mind. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you, it hurts to be rejected because of your body. Because of something you have no control over and that you can't change. Me with every girl who's like, only six feet and above, please. You're under six feet. You're a piece of <laughs> Let me tell you, I read a whole lot of Tinder bios in my day that are like, if you're under six feet, swipe left. Okay, I want nothing to do with you. What kind of man is under six feet tall? You sh shut the f shut up. Some people are terrible, man. Let me tell you, but it's okay. I am more interesting than any six foot person. People who are only into some someone for their height or their appearance or their cucumber, they are probably a really boring person. Keep that in mind. If someone's more interested in someone's appearance than anything else, they are a very boring person who doesn't have anything interesting about them. Only basic boring people prioritize looks over everything else. Me? No, 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 no. If I can't talk to you into the wee hours of the night and have you keep up, it's over. I don't care how whatever physical trait you are. I felt like such a loser. I thought I would never be able to satisfy any girlfriend I had. I grew so insecure that whenever a girl started Aww. talking to me, I ended the conversation as quickly as possible. Aww. I didn't want a new girlfriend because I was scared of having to tell her about my embarrassing condition. Aww. But after six months, two guys came up to me at college. They were both laughing and asked me if a snake had really bitten off my cucumber. And I started blushing so hard that I basically admitted that it was true. Do they have the solution though? These boys have the solution? It turns out that my ex got drunk at a college party and told everyone about my accident in Thailand. And from then onwards, everyone at my college called me Miss P because I had a missing, uh, you know what. Kathy, this means one. If he doesn't go and get revenge on this heathen, I will be very upset. Destroy this woman. Destroy her. How dare you? How dare you? I, I don't like this ex. I'm glad she's an ex because she would have given you problems down the road. If she's the type to get lit and then say embarrassing things like that about someone she's not even with anymore. What a whack GF. Glad she's gone. Hopefully you get revenge, Benjamin. Hopefully you get some revenge. I'm in. For the next three years, I basically stopped talking to girls and instead completely focused on college. I think I wanted to get straight A's to compensate for what I was lacking, but I just grew more and more frustrated. And I came to the conclusion that if lesbians make it work, that I can make it work too. Me with hair. <laughs> and that's when I decided to start dating again. And I met my current girlfriend, Suzanne, at a college party. It took me five dates with her to work up the current Oh, she looks so nice. Condition. And luckily, she wasn't creeped out or anything. I mean, she giggled a bit, but I can deal with that. And since meeting her, I realized that even though I lost my cucumber, I can still make her happy. If you ain't got a giant cucumber, giant croissants will do it. Remember that, lads. I mean, lesbians can make each other happy too. So in the end, I'm grateful that my old girlfriend broke up with me because otherwise I would have never met Suzanne. And I can't tell you how much I love- It's a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> she is much nicer than my ex. In fact, yeah. two months ago, I had a very important homework assignment in my college economics course. Is it murder your ex? <laughs> Is it develop an untraceable, slow-acting poison? Because if so, I think I know a, a, a test subject you can use, Benjamin. I was supposed to write 5,000 words about the dual system theory, but I was down with a cold and spent my whole weekend laying in bed with high temperature. But then my girlfriend gave me a stack of papers. She had done my homework for me. I can't tell you how grateful I was. And since then, I've helped her several times with her homework because Aww. I want to make sure I always give more than I take. 
<laughs> so thank you for listening to my story, and please subscribe to this channel for daily animated stories. Wow, that had a happy ending. That's awesome. Yo, this girl seems like an angel. We all need a Suzanne in our lives. We need a turtleneck wearing redheaded cutie like Suzanne here. What a sweetheart. That's uh, that's great. Kathy deserves to die, but Suzanne. There are, there are angels out there, boys. Don't lose hope. All right. <laughs> That's number one. Let, let's watch another one real quick. We've got time. We've got time. It's a good thing that story had a happy ending, Mickey. Uh -huh. I agree, Scooby. Made up for the crazy beginning. Uh -huh. I agree. Now let's see what kind of other crazy stuff we can get into. My GF cheated on me with the cool guy. Oh no, another horrible girlfriend. Mickey, I don't want this to seem sexist by only having bad women. Where's the bad boys? <laughs> that totally sounded like Scooby-Doo. My boyfriend cheated on me. Okay, we can, we have a guy to hate, guys. So we're even, we're even here. Let, let's go. He really, these guys, they, they watch anime once and then they leave their girlfriend for a pink haired girl. It keeps happening. Pink haired girls, uh, hit me up in the comments. <laughs> That's why I try to look like an anime character as much as I can. We all dream of being human animes. Hey, I'm Maria, and I started dating my boyfriend, Rubio, in the 10th grade. Rubio. I thought we were the perfect couple. I mean, we were both honor students. Congratulations! You passed the college for smart kids. You are epic smart, and you got it. Congratulations! Wow. Seems like the smartest school ever. They can't even spell their diplomas right. And we even played Romeo and Juliet in our school play. I know it sounds crazy, but although we were young, I was already imagining us getting married someday and having a bunch of Aww. kids. Aww. But after about a year of dating, Rubio's behavior changed. Suddenly, he always put his phone on airplane mode when we met. It was as if he was scared of someone sending him an SMS or calling him while I- Well, you don't need to- you can just do do not disturb. That works too, Rubio. That's- that's healthy for you though. You know, stay in the present with your GF. You don't want to be on the phone all the time. If you're with your partner and you're always on your phone, clearly you don't find your partner that interesting. Or you're not interesting enough to entertain the two of you. Talk. Don't be on your phone when you're with your partner anyways. When I asked him why he was suddenly using airplane mode, he told me he didn't want to be distracted while he was with me. I agree! I mean, that was sweet and all, but he never used to do it before, and I wasn't sure I believed him. Then he started to come up with excuses about why he didn't have time to see me on the weekends. He usually said he had to study, but then I'd see him constantly on Instagram. It just didn't add up. Skateboarding like a pro, pure talent right there. What kind of loser? Well, first of all, Rubio, he's getting a lot of likes. Holy sh- It's way more likes than I get. Yo, follow my Instagram, please. Help me get as big as Rubio. We need to pass this cheating son of a- If Rubio can call himself talent, pure talent, you don't say that about yourself, Rubio, you self-important. Loser. Anyways, help me pass Rubio and followers. <laughs> and I started to worry he was seeing another girl behind my back. Of course, I hoped he was being faithful and honest, but I couldn't stop worrying. So I decided to take things into my own hands and find out the truth. I asked my friend Stacy to add Rubio on Snapchat. Isn't this the girl from the thumbnail? And the girl from the cheating fantasy? Or is there more than one pink haired female in this story? What's with all the pink in this story? Pink eyes? Really? I had pink eye once. Now having pink eye in one eye is bad enough. Imagine having permanent pink eye. You need to clean your pillowcase. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. He immediately responded to her request and they started talking. Ooh. Stacy was very flirtatious Ooh. and after just two days of chatting, she asked my boyfriend Rubio on a date. And he said yes. Wow. I was freaking mad. Yeah. But afterwards, Stacy and I made a plan for me to show up at their date with a camera. I wanted to share the photos on Instagram. So what do these people do? Why are they so popular? Are these celebrities? Are, are these famous people that... <laughs> What? Why do they have so many views? I guess, you know, the people that share my story just wanted to flex. They're like, oh, we're used to, you know, anything we post gets, you know, 100,000 likes. So that's, that's normal. That's normal numbers. I'm on to you. Share my story. I'm on to you. Where's the trigger? The whole world would see that he was- <laughs> Look at this cheeky boy. Yo, it's <laughs> I've never seen a more punchable animated face in my life. But when I arrived at their date and confronted Rubio, 
He acted all cool and said he knew all along that I'd set him up so he'd only gone to teach me a lesson. He sounded so confident that, for a moment, I believed him. But then I asked him to show me his phone so I could check if he was chatting with any other girls. Rubio refused and told me I was a bad girlfriend for not trusting him. We had a huge fight right in the middle of the restaurant, but it didn't matter what I said. Cause Rubio she has superpowers and can grow the size of a building. Just step on him, step on him, uh, whatever your name is, I forget. Rubio always had a smart answer for me. He refused to admit he'd been cheating, but I knew I couldn't trust him anymore. That's why I told him it was over between us. I hoped he'd be devastated at the thought of losing me and beg me to stay. But if he, hey, if if he's not, if he's not cheating, then we don't want a person with trust issues in our lives. Brush her off your shoulder, King. You don't need that. You don't need that toxic energy in 2020. But he just stared at me for a few seconds before shaking his head saying, whatever, I don't care. So... Well, don't say that. Do I... Don't be a idiot about it. That's mean. What a bad couple. This is just a bad couple in general. <laughs> so... Do I recommend you set up your boyfriend like this? No. Now I look back, I can see it was immature of me to play games. But if there are any signs your boyfriend is cheating on you, you might want to do some detective work and handle it in private. But hey, Rubio and I were both very young, and I guess it's normal that we were both a bit immature. However, next time I date someone, I will make sure it's someone I can trust. If I ever get suspicious, I'll talk to him about it. And if I don't get the answers I need, I'll end it. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you were able to learn something and please subscribe to this channel. I was hoping this would be a little more extreme, but hey, after that first one, what what can you ask for? What what, what more can you ask for? Uh huh, Scooby, that one was a little underwhelming. Oh, I'll say, I need to eat a whole pack of Scooby snacks to enjoy that pizza. Hey, it's a, that's, that's, that has an actual moral. You know what, that, that, we can say that. That one actually has a moral. Typically, typically these stories don't really have a moral, a point, a lesson to be learned. But this one, hey, trust people. If you can't trust them, talk to them. If you still can't trust them, get away. But then also look at yourself, because maybe you're the problem. It's about as intelligent uh, advice I can possibly muster. <laughs> Right now, I think that first one took away half of my brain cells for the day. I have to go back to my resting capsule and, and recharge. But we gained some experience points today, my friends. We had our first animation about cucumbers. Let me know if you want to see more of these. Check out one of my other videos. You will enjoy it. You owe it to yourself. I will see you there. I will see you in this video or this video. I'll see you there, okay? As always, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.